Today I'm going to cover HP Anywhere um, at a high level. I'll cover some slides that talk about how HP Anywhere, the platform, uh, works with the other HP products and solutions. And I'll actually go in and do a, a demo of the uh, HP Anywhere solution uh, in an emulator so you can see what the mini apps uh, look like and how they interact with the HP solution. So uh, from an agenda perspective, we'll do a quick overview. Uh, just a few slides. We'll jump into the demo immediately, and then we'll have time for questions and answers uh, at the end. So, you know, from a from an overall marketing perspective, uh, we are entering the world, as everybody knows, where it's the uh, enterprise and everybody wants everything wherever they are right now. And that's really the premise behind HP Anywhere's platform solution as a way to provide mobility that is really device, uh, almost device agnostic from a platform perspective to be able to, uh, you know, do things like, uh, log your timesheets at HPPTM or do time approvals or request approvals or, you know, work on a defect or approve a defect in the ALM product with HP, uh, on your smartphone or on your tablet while you're on the go. So, it's really any time, you know, anywhere, any way to be able to uh, effectively, you know, manage uh, the, the daily workload that we have. So, you know, this, this slide really talks about how mobility is disrupting the way that IT organizations work uh, from the from the perspective of, you know, it's no longer okay to not, uh, you know, wait overnight to do an approval for a, a critical ticket or something like that and, and with the mobility, you have the capability to be away from uh, your, your desk or be away from the office and still be able to effectively uh, do the things you need to do. Uh, the HP Anywhere platform is a single platform where all mobility within HP software will go through. So the platform provides a place to put the mini apps uh, that serve all of the other HP products as well as external products. Uh, you know, connected meaning that uh, it's always uh, connected from, you know, across all of the apps that you have in the enterprise that are HP apps that have mobility enabled. Um, and it's flexible. You can configure this based on the role. You can get specific access to uh, the appropriate people. So it's more than just mobile apps that do things like time approvals and PM. It's the platform and and the ability to set up the platform so that if you have multiple HP products or solutions in place, you can leverage that for the enterprise and then define personas or roles to allow the appropriate access in the mobile environment. Uh, some of the key solution characteristics uh, multi-platform support, so iOS and Android smartphones and tablets. Uh, the delivery of HP anywhere through the iTunes app store and the Android marketplace. There's a centralized administration console, and I'll show that, that allows for secure access. Um, the mini apps themselves that are developed by the HP development teams for each of the products are actually delivered uh, to the enterprise HP Anywhere server via HP Live Network. So it's a, it's an automated pull of new updates from the HP Live Network server, so anytime that R&D when HP releases a new mini app, it's uh, automatically pulled down to the HP Anywhere solution you have in the enterprise and then you can choose to install it or not. Um, once again, it's persona driven and uh, the UI, because it's a platform, is very consistent in nature and you'll see that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, how does it work? Um, the HP Anywhere client itself um, is in the OS apps market, so you have the app store uh, for the iPhone or the Android marketplace. You basically, with your smartphone device or tablet, go download HP Anywhere um, on your device. Um, and then once you do that, you configure your HP Anywhere solution uh, to connect up to the HP Anywhere server uh, via a uh, credential to be able to then access the mini apps for these backend solutions like the SM, Executive Scorecard, PCM, Quality Center. And once, once again, the, the mini apps are actually delivered from 
the ABC Live network into this server. So the user, the end user ultimately with their device downloads the HP Anywhere client. Somebody installs the HP Anywhere server and connects them to the back end solution. And then that's connected to the HP Live network to deliver many app updates that are ultimately then delivered to the end users of the solution. So here's just a couple of screenshots of, of what it looks like on a, an iPhone. So if you have HP Anywhere, you authenticate in, you choose your persona or role, and then you're delivered to the front page or a dashboard, um, for instance, for BSN with exceptions. Uh, for application to help as an example. Uh, the next example is looking at the ALM, uh, open defects by severity, and then TPM uh, request approval. So we'll see this in the demo. Um, that'll be a little better. Here's an example of TPM, the mini app where you do request approval. Um, you click on the ACNR icon to authenticate and bring up with this request. You drill into those requests and then you can click the approve button at the bottom, uh, do the confirmation and give you a feedback as to whether or not the approval was a success. Here's a, a screenshot of the executive scorecard on the tablet. Uh, there's two different versions of the executive scorecard in the app, one for the smartphone and one for the tablet just based on the layouts that I can show those. Um, so really just to wrap up here from a slide perspective, um, some of the key benefits of HP Anywhere, uh, you know, enabling IT to manage the mobile devices so the platform allows you to not only push the mini apps to the mobile devices, but really it allows for mobile device management for all of the HP solutions. Um, it's simple, secure, and centralized meaning that you do have this platform that will not get to handle all of the, the mobile device registration and things like that. Um, you know, the, the mini apps can be developed to be very uh, specific use cases, um, make decisions on the go, and then it's customizable based on uh, the roles uh, that you have within the organization and who needs to access what. Um, this is just uh, you know, a quick, quick quote. Um, you know, it's the most intuitive take and seamless way to manage your IT anywhere, anytime. It's uh, the only system that addresses the challenges of IT mobilization at present. So this is a detailed slide of the solution anatomy. I think these slides, these slides will, will send out afterwards. So if you really want to get into uh, the details from a technology perspective of how the platform uh, functions. Uh, this slide is, is a good starting point for that. Um, so this is how it would look on a tablet or smartphone. You're presented with the uh, the login screen with HP Anywhere. Uh, down here in the lower left is the ability to see the server and change the server that you're going to. So you, know, you might have a case where if in an organization they have a dev server and a production server for HP Anywhere, um, so you can change that server you go to uh, to be able to do things like testing. So I'm just going to authenticate in here. And this brings up the home page um, for HP Anywhere. And these, uh, the terminology for the way you see here is really a set of mini apps. and so these are the mini apps that I have enabled for this particular um, user that I'm logged in. Um, you can see you have a refresh screen here which has the ability to go out and refresh the data. So the four mini apps I've shown here, the executive scorecard for smartphone, time management approval for PPM, PPM request, and the executive scorecard for the tablet. Um, there are uh, two apps available in the DSM space. There is the application uh, performance uh, monitoring mini app and then there's the uh, service health mini app in the in the ESM state <coughs> excuse me and in the ALM solution there's a solution 
a mini app solution currently that allows you to uh, update and create defects on the mobile device. And I just don't have those to enable within this current environment, but those are available as well. Um, a couple of other things. So this is the mini app landing page. There's also a front page that you can click on, and this is where you start to get um, things like exceptions that you can look at based on like, the mini app, the date, or the priority of, uh, of the particular exception coming from the mini apps. And so these are actually coming from the executive scorecard KPIs that are that are high priority KPIs that uh, is um, there was red, for instance, and you can and scroll down through those lists there. So you have the home screen, the front page, and then there's also a catalog. And you can see here this catalog is where you actually install the mini apps on your device. So based on the persona that you choose, you're, you're going to be given a list of mini apps that you can install. And then you basically go in here and install or auto-install the mini apps on your, on your device. And then there's actually a setting as well, where you um, talk about the role, and right now I'm walking as a chief information officer, offer some role, um, the landing page, whether it be the summary page or the front page here, um, and then there's the capability to limit the rows per mini app, um, what you do with the words, so you can actually define items you want to follow. And then for each of the applications, you actually have a data source that you can go to. So an example might be that you're working in an environment where there are multiple ALM environments. You can actually switch those environments here. The administrator will also need to find the, 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 the data source, uh, but you can switch these here and actually authenticate in the different versions of different instances of PPM and ALM as an example. All right, so I'm just going to drill into a couple of these uh, and, and show the functionality. So the PPM request, as an example, I have these four HPA capital requests here that are awaiting my approval. You can drill in and see the actual request number and the description of the request, and then you can actually drill in further uh, to go ahead and do the request approval. Now, this pulls up the main section of the request. In TPM, you can drill in and look at the data of those requests uh, before you decide to do the approval. Um, and then at this point, uh, you can just click the approve or not approve button. So I'll go ahead and approve this and ask for the confirmation. And that's actually gone out and successfully done the approval within the HPTPM solution. So that's uh, how the HP. Um, and actually, if I refresh this now, um, capital requests, there's still four, but it's in a different, uh, a different step in the workflow. Now, I'll also drill into the executive scorecard for tablet just to show you what that one looks like. So if I click there, this is the executive scorecard for uh, the tablet, it looks uh, almost identical to the executive scorecard that you do in the browser, uh, where you can actually scroll through your scorecard, uh, see your goal metrics, and then look at specific KPIs. So right now we're looking at a goal of uh, improved customer satisfaction. It's a 326 that's trending up, but it's, it's below the threshold for red at this point. And then you can start to see the specific KPIs, the number of proposals and backlog, percentage of satisfied customers is way down there in the red. Um, this uh, percentage of application availability is in the yellow. And then you can click on a given KPI, and what you'll see within the KPIs is the historical trend of that KPI. Um, so you can see how it's been trending over time. Uh, that's particular KPI by month. And then there are children, actually, these are specific applications that you can drill into and see the details of that. So we go ahead and close those and we'll look at maybe a couple of others here. 
Uh, for sense of net service performance, uh, as examples out here, we can go into that KPI and see, you know, for CRM, ERP, ILP.com, and mail on those services, what the specifics were, and then this is what it trends over time. And then if you look at uh, other KPIs and metrics, so you can see the entire scorecard here with, uh, with this mini app. So that's fundamentally what it looks like, uh, the delivery of the mini apps and going into the specific application functionality. One other thing I wanted to cover was HP Anywhere in the admin console. So I've actually logged in um, here to uh, the admin capital for this version. And once again, we have a set of mini apps. And you can see the four that I have installed here. But if I go to the catalog, there's actually several more. So like the ALM defect management, um, there's not yet installed in this environment. But these are the mini apps that are served down for the HP Live Network. Um, you can see the, you know, the release date and the version of the mini apps. Here's a new DSM performance one, DSM service health, executive scorecard, IT financial management for uh, the tablet. And then the uh, PPM request made that ties you to Google. Uh, and then for each mini app, for instance, if we were going to enable ALM defect management, we would actually need to install that and then enable a data source. And the data source is ultimately what points it to the ALM instance that you want the mini app to get defects from. Um, you also have a set of user profiles. Uh, and you can see I've actually logged in as demo, and you can see the demo is an access to user from lots of different devices, the user devices, the user web simulation I'm doing now, and then there's specific uh, phones and things like that that have also accessed. Um, yeah, so it tracks the device ID and the phone that comes in. Um, I'm sorry, but the version and the device ID of the OS that's coming in. And then there's a set of personas uh, that you define. And then the personas actually are related to the available mini apps. And then finally, there's a set of settings for uh, push notifications. And you can actually set up the HP Anywhere client to be downloaded from internally as opposed to having some of the app stores. Um, so that's fundamentally the the uh, this of, I mean, the functionality of the, the technical uh, administration of HP Anywhere. The other thing, I guess, when you define a data source, you associate persona with that data source. So that's actually how, and actually within the, the mini app, so the TM approval mini app is available to these personas, um, and then these data sources are also available. So that's how you really tie what many apps are delivered to the users based on the persona that they see when they initially log in. I actually had a screenshot of that here where you're, let me make that bigger, where you're choosing the persona uh, that you're selecting when you log in. And that's actually how it ties uh, the available many apps to that persona.